Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Yes, in this week's video I'm going to be looking at exactly the process that we go through in terms of setting up our air awning on site. Now the awning that we have is a Camper Rally Air 390 Pro and I appreciate that's not going to be the same for everybody but again this is just to sort of go over the process step by step exactly what we do in terms of setting up this awning when we get to site. So we follow this process on the basis that over sort of the last two or three years, obviously we've gone about it and we found that this has sort of been the best setup for us in terms of setting up first time, every time. Um, so yeah, what you don't want to be able to do is sort of pull it too far in one direction and then the zips on the door don't shut um, or it's moved away from the caravan itself and left a draft down the side. So again, following this should set you up for success and hopefully, yeah, no arguments when you are setting up. So the first job that we get on with is actually applying the skirt to the caravan and obviously this is to stop a gust of wind coming around and sort of blowing out the awning. What we don't do is actually use the top part to actually cover the, the top section of the wheel just so we can use that as, as ventilation and then we just peg it out in the four corners just so again it stays tight. We then move on to actually uh, getting the awning attached to the caravan. Now, it is obviously a lot easier to have two people here and just slowly thread it through just so it gets to the right location and then you can get on and uh, inflate it to the right PSI. Now, having one person is possible, but what you need to be careful of is when you are threading it through the rail, you don't pull it out um, as the bottom section is coming round because all you'll do then is obviously have to then go back uh, and then reapply it. Uh, the other issue is obviously by doing that you're slowly opening up that awning rail um, and obviously it'll be prone to leaks if you're not careful so uh, yeah wherever possible try and do this as a pair um, it will obviously yeah be a lot easier once the awnings actually inflated and in position i like to then move on to actually getting the poles attached and secure and this is a great opportunity now just to get it nice and straight but also tight to the caravan Obviously, just be mindful of, obviously, yeah, if you've got any vents um, and just the final location you put this, but at least this will keep it really close to the caravan and you won't have any gaps. A little tip here would be actually making sure that you close the doors prior to pulling out the awning. Otherwise, what you might find is when you do go to close the doors, once you've set up, they don't actually close or they're really tight. So when it actually comes to pegging out the awning, it's really easy to pull this out too far. Um, so yeah, just have a look at your angles. And what I'd like to start with is actually just pegging out the corners uh, instead of doing the middle section as well. I'll do that once I've actually got the carpet laid. So when it comes to the carpet, it's just about obviously getting this in place. But what that does allow you to do and see is exactly how far to push the middle section in. Uh, so it's then uh, straight with the carpet, otherwise you may find it's a bit zigzaggy. Uh, and it's really easy to do that when you're sort of looking at the awning from the outside. Um, and again, this just stops you having to sort of go around it twice. So now I'm happy the awning's actually in the right location. I can go around and just peg in any additional straps and storm straps, depending on what the weather conditions are gonna be like. And then just apply a little bit more air if needed, just to get it to the right PSI for this awning. And Roxy's just trying to help me, just making sure I haven't forgot anything obvious, giving her royal seal of approval. So when it actually comes down to pegging the, the final bits for the actual awning, we actually like to have these coming out. I know some people will have these going in, but for us, it just allows if any water does come running down, it just moves it a little bit away from the actual awning itself. And some of the, in our awning, we've actually got the metal studs there. So we use those to actually secure both the, the clips as well as the actual skirt as well, as you can see, as I'm doing in, in the shot now. So with the air awnings, obviously you need to make sure once it's up to the right uh, PSI, just going around and just making sure that you are shutting off all the valves. So if you are to get a puncture or a slow leak, obviously it's only going to let down that one section and it's not going to let the whole awning down. So we then actually go on to actually attaching the roof lining. Now, depending on the age uh, and, and the style of uh, awning that you have, there is additional clips here. So what I do tend to do is actually pull them through multiple clips just to keep it tight, because what you'll find is the elastic stretches over time and it's just not as good as it could be. 
Um, so yeah, it really depends on what uh, other clips that you have available to actually thread them through. But um, yeah, certainly on the 390, you do have those extra bits. So it just allows you to keep it tight. As we move towards the end of the process, obviously, yeah, it's just about adding the curtains and just making sure they go through the two uh, straps that go across, just so again, it keeps it tight to the window. So as I sort of stated at the beginning, this is what our awning looks like once we've got it set up. Like I said, there's different bits that you can do, and again, that'll be down to your personal preference, but this is how we like to go about it from the outside. And then on the inside, you can see obviously it, nice, it being nice and tight to the caravan. We've got some of the uh, ventilation open and obviously the roof lining and carpet in place. So uh, yeah, this is the, the, the final look. Rightio, that's it for this week's video. Hopefully you've got some uh, good tips from this and the process, hopefully this is the process that you already use it may not be but um, hopefully you've learned something from that or if you're completely new hopefully this is giving you the information about sort of yeah knowing what to do or how about going setting up an audience when you first go to site for the first time um, but um, yeah we'll leave it there for this week and as always if you've got any questions drop them below feel free to share the content and I will see you all on the next one cheers everyone